It's a beautiful day in Rome. I'm at the Adagio. Uh, what's the name of this place? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm in a different setting because I'm in Rome, Italy. Yay! Um, I have to go to the Colosseum today, but I was like, I want to do some unboxing videos because I want to crack open this these these Christmas presents pretty much. Um, and I've always always wanted this. It was a present, you know, but these are always what I wanted. Like I would save, 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 save. I know people save, 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 save to buy the YSL bag that they want and the Louis Vuitton bag that I want. But if I were to get this, I probably wouldn't get this until my 30s. But luckily enough, uh, my boyfriend got these for me for Christmas. Well, not really for Christmas, but um, it's New Year's Eve, so I kind of want to wear my bag out, you know? So I was like, let me unbox this. Um, I'm sorry, I keep on looking outside. It's so beautiful, but I'll show you. It's going to be my vlog, but I'll show you a little peek of what I'm seeing over the balcony. But anyway, so distracted. Let's get into this unboxing video. So I went to, I got these, um, I got this YSL bag from uh, Champ Montague Street in Paris. It's Montague. Um, it's basically where all the high-end stores are, like Celine. YSL, Chanel, they have all the stores that basically in that street. Um, so I got this from there and um, I was super excited. I knew exactly what I wanted to get because I needed something I could wear all the time with anything. Um, I wanted to get the Maltese, but they didn't have the tassel. So I don't know, something about the tassel really wanted me to get this, so um, I got it. So I'm going to talk about prices before I unbox, but this is the box. It's so beautiful. Awesome presentation. Okay, so this is, uh, um, so price. This was, this is the medium size Kate monogram bag. This was 1590 euro, 1590 euros, which is about 1670 American dollars. It's like 16, 1000, 6000. So, and when I leave, when I have to go through customs and pay duty, um, for the two bags that I did get, it's going to be about $100. But, that's a huge discount. Because if I were to get this bag in the United, in the United States, this bag retails for $2,100, I believe. $2,100, around there. So, you're getting this for about $600 less. So, is it worth it? Yes. To me, yes. <laughs> So let's unbox this bad boy. So it's just a nice ribbon. I can use this. I'm gonna use the hair tie. Cause why not? Um, let's see. Ooh, this on my face. This is my New Year's Eve makeup. I did a Snapchat on this. Um, all right. So there. This is the tissue paper. The bag comes in a sleeve. Okay, then, I don't, hope I don't look too lopsided, I'm like propping up the camera on so many books, and this is the bag, so this is the sleeve, I took it, and it's well wrapped, like I, I didn't, the, all, the furthest I went with this is pretty much remove this. I have not used it, I have not unraveled it, and it's so well packaged. So I love this bag. This is obviously going to be for special occasions. The thing about this bag <sighs> that scares the heck out of me is that it's, it could be scuffed. Um, this is, I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm going to write the details in the description box below. Like, I'm so scared. Alright. Oh, okay. The chain that is for China. Um, and inside looks like this it has tissue. What's this? I think it's an identification card. Not an identification, authentication card. 
Um, let me fully unbox, take all this stuff off of it. All right, so here we go. This is so beautiful. I like, it's like really, I love the chain. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, the chain looks like this. It has the St. Laurent um, logo on it. I could wear it one long strap like this. Which is how I am going to wear it. And it's so beautiful and like classic. That's why I always wanted this. It's so, oh, I love it. This is basically, let me sit down in my pajama pants. But I always, this is basically, I got two luxury bags. But this is the first video. This is my first luxury bag. And I never thought I would collect these. But as time has gone, years have passed. I've been really, 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 really wanting this bag. I've seen it in so many colors. And I was like, you know what? If I were to spend a lot of money on it, I would get a black one. I saw this snake pat like python python in 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 um imprinted or embossed embossed I don't know the word but it's basically fake skin leather um burgundy deep red with silver hardware with a chain with a tassel it'll probably show up in my vlog but I saw that while I was in the store and even my boyfriend was like that's a nice bag you should get it um I was like, I know it's more, but I was like, no. I'll probably get that later on in life because this, me and this bag were meant to be, and I will wear this proudly. <laughs> proudly. English is not my thing today. I can't even speak. I keep on looking up there because this is the Sony A5100 I'm filming with. Not my usual DSLR, so it's hard to look at the lens, but I'm being so distracted. This is. Oh, okay, so I'm going to put it the other way. Am I making marks already? This is nails. I'm going to take off these nails. Um, so that's the inside. It's one pocket. It has one card. One inside. Um slot for cards and it's just completely open in the inside so yeah I'm close this up like that really simple okay so I'm going to open this up I think it's an authentication card I could be wrong this is the first time ever getting something like this okay oh okay I'm not sure what this is, but I'll show it to you. So YSL SAC Monogram SL. Oh. I think these are just different languages. Oh, okay. Okay, this here, this one is this certificate of authenticity guarantees your St. Laurent product against all manufacturer defects so this is the actual um, authentication card oh my god english is not my word day today so that's what that says in a few languages it says the manufacturer may have equipped this item with an identifying tag readable by radio frequency in order to guarantee this item's authenticity through the description distribution channels and prevent counterfeiting this RFID tag only contains information relating to the product production and distribution flows the manufacturer does not collect through through and does not associate with RFID tag with any personal data relating to a customer so these are pretty much pretty pretty much what these are basically saying <sighs> actually I've been feeling really sick 
but I'm feeling better ever since I left uh, Paris. I was in a really confined room, so I feel really better because it's a way bigger apartment hotel. Um, so I think this is a control number. I don't know what this is, really. So that's that. Oh, good. I forgot the woman who helped me with my bag. Um, I don't think it was Lana. I think that was the woman at YS at Louis Vuitton. But she was a great help. She was a great help. I also went to Chanel, which is a eye-opening experience. <laughs> Uh, back in you go. Alright, awesome. Just put all the chain in there. Uh, yeah, that's it. Absolutely love it. That's the bottom. It's a beautiful, simple size. Good. Alright. That's it for my unboxing. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, but if you want to get bags like this, like the Chanel bag I want, I'm gonna be I'm gonna get it for my birthday, which is technically next month because New Year's Eve right now. Um, but paying six thousand US dollars for the Chanel bag I want, um, which is the big one, um, the caviar. Is it caviar? The big um, I forgot what texture it is, but it's like quilted looking. Um, that's the bag I want, the double flap, um, the classic bag everyone has. That's what I really, really want to get. But 6000 in the U.S. is what I'm basically going to, um, going to have to pay for that. Um, but it's actually 4,500 euros. So if you're in Europe, take advantage of it, get what you want as luxury because it is priced way different. Uh, yeah, so if you're in Europe, take advantage of it because 4,500 euros is like basically... 5,000 US dollars, so you're saving a grand off of getting a Chanel bag in Europe. So that's all I have to say about that. Then again, there's duty. They pay duty when you get back into the States. When I get back to New York, duty might be an issue, but either way, I'm good. I love it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you like, check out my other unboxing, which I'm about to do right now, which is the Louis Vuitton bag that I did get.